Okay. So. Let's explain this real quick. So here's here's the concept of power creep in Vanilla WoW. Right? Uh, okay. So the concept of power creep in Vanilla WoW. Is that... Okay, that thing's not coming for me. Okay. So. This is... This is power creep. Okay, so you have get some black. You have the baseline. Let's say the baseline, hypothetically. Perodin, what's up, man? Appreciate the appreciate the follow on Twitch, dude. So if I go and I start right here. Right, this is the baseline, and we'll say this is green gear. This is just green random gear. Okay, what the frick? So this is greens, okay? Right here. Then whenever you start out the game, right? Whenever WoW starts, you have greens, you have, wait, you know what? There's a better way of doing this. You have greens. You have blues. Okay. And this is like dungeon gear. Okay. This is at level 60. You have you have greens. You have blues. This is your dungeon gear. And then you have some epics, right? Which at the very beginning, not a lot of people will have access to. Okay. So this is MC gear, right? And if you want to take, let's take the concept of item level. Okay, well, we're gonna take the concept of item level, which did exist, item level did exist in Vanilla WoW, but it wasn't treated the same way as, uh, as it is in Legion, right? So, if we go, let's go to the item database, I'm pulling it up right now. If I go and Oh, I should do this like this. Give me a second here. Again, this is, look, this channel, this is reality TV, okay? None of this stuff is scripted. That's what you got to understand whenever I'm doing my explanations. It's, I'm, 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 I, I know these things, right? I have an opinion on these things, and then I go and explain them off the cuff. So, sometimes it might seem a little scatterbrained, and sometimes I might even forget to say something, right? I might even forget something, but here we go. Put that right here, our creep, and this is going to be here. So if I go to the item database and I look up, okay, we're gonna. Mm, I don't like that. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Be patient, guys. This is a patient channel. S fan the patient. Remember that. This is the official WoW Classic waiting room. Okay. We're going to be patient here. So right here, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, why not? Okay, database, items, and let's look at some armor, okay? Let's look at some plate armor, and here you go, this, this is item level right here. Level requirement, all level 60, but this is their item level, you guys see that? So, if I sort things by item level, and I go down here, Let's go to some, let's go to some Molten Core gear. And we're going to use some, some rough estimates, okay? We're going to use some rough estimates. Um, okay, so you see Lawbringer 66. All the tier 1 is like I, I level 66. You guys see that? Helm of Might, Lawbringer Belt, all, all 66. From what I'm seeing here. You have some blues, right, that are like 65. Here's the ZG sets that are 65, right? So, and, and we've talked about that before, the ZG patch being like a catch-up patch, all that, to kind of help you get some gear to, to catch up there. Um, you even have blues that are 66. These are the updated, These. this is the updated PvP sets, the updated honor sets that come out in the next patch. Dlynn Essek, 
appreciate the follow, man. This comes out in the next patch, and it's eye level 66, which matches Molten Core gear, even though it's blue, right? I've said this before. Just because something is blue and something is epic doesn't necessarily mean, like, the epic is always going to be better in Vanilla WoW. Um, stat allocation, how, how it's itemized, and, and the amount of itemization points it has. This is how many... The, the eye level 66, this kind of determines how many itemization points that the item has. Then from there, you have to determine, based on the itemization points and, and how the stats are allocated, what's actually good and not good for you, right? So... Let's say that MC gear is eye level 66, okay? Let's just say that, right? In the 1.5 patch, they add a few more items, right? Look at this. I meant I specifically mentioned flame guard gauntlets. Look at this, 69. Flame guard gauntlets are eye level 69, and these are an awesome piece. So some some items are a little bit better. Dark iron. In, in uh, later on, the Thorium Brotherhood rep, I believe that's also 1.5. I think it's 1.5 as well. It might be 1.6. I think it's 1.5. Thorium Brotherhood rep uh, allows you to get the, the recipes to craft the Dark Iron gear. So, and these are eye level 70, right? Where's Onslaught Girl? Where's Onslaught Girl at? Onslaught. See, Onslaught Girdle, this drops in Molten Core, I level 78. This is huge. This is the second best plate belt in the game. Anyway, or plate DPS belt, sorry. Anyway, like I'm saying, like, you can say, you know what, let's say an average, let's just say on average, 70, right? Or, or, let's just say on average 70, okay, from the MC gear. So later on, you come in and then you add the BWL patch, okay? 66 is tier one, right? The BWL patch, look at the judgment gear, 76, right? Actually, let's go back. Let's just say, again, let's just say, for the sake of the tier, for the sake of the tier, 66. MC gear, I level 76, right? Or sorry, BWL gear. Judgment, Wrath, 76. So now, now you're in patch 1.6 and there's an influx of higher item level gear. So the difference between these greens and MC, which is the cap, it goes higher. So the difference between the greens and the BWL now. So if I go here and I, we're gonna add, we're gonna add another level. This is BWL, right? And BWL, Let's just say, I mean, this is the tier, right? Well, we're just we're just using the tier, for example. I level 76, right? Next, you have AQ40 added, right? Oh, and, and in the meantime, I'm leaving this out. In the meantime, ZG patch is added. So we saw some ZG gear a little bit earlier. I believe this is ZG. Look at this. You have ZG blues, right? that have eye level 70, right? 71. You have the ZG, the ZG set is like eye level 65. So really, you have the ZG patch, which is kind of, it, it kind of goes around this, right? Which fits in right there. Sneak Snare, appreciate the follow. So this is kind of your ZG patch. Let's do this, canvas size. Width. 10. Okay, this is your ZG patch. It kind of it kind of goes around MC catch up mechanic, right? So if you go to AQ40 gear now, AQ gear, AQ40 and AQ20, right? Now we're in the 1.9 patch. AQ20 is another catch-up mechanic. Let's see, here's the Conqueror set, right? Avenger set. 81, right? Tier two and a half is, as, is what it's referred to oftentimes, right? Harrison, appreciate the YouTube sub. So now you have tier one, and then you go up 10 item levels. Tier two, 76. 
You go up five item levels, tier two and a half. Okay. It, it makes sense now. That's now it makes sense. Why why was that not tier three? Makes sense, right? So let's say and again we're just talking about the tier. There's items that go around that. This is a very, very rough explanation. But now we're in the 1.9 patch and you're increasing the cap. Okay. And in the meantime, more players are starting to play the game and, and the game is kind of backfilling, right? Now, the you could say the bulk of the players are right in here initially and maybe the bulk of the players moves up to right here. Over time, the 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 lower level players are, are naturally still going to move up, right? But there is going to be a threshold and AQ40 is kind of that threshold. AQ40 is, is I would say, a, a big threshold for... I learned appreciate the follow for when you start seeing a disparity between like more more elite players and uh, the more casual players, right? So now we're in AQ40, and this is I level 81, right? For the tier again, we're using the tier as like a, a rough number for anybody who's who's coming in new. <clears throat> so now. Oh, let's talk about AQ20. Let's let's look at some AQ20 gear. Let's see, let's see. I believe this is AQ40 Desert Crusade. Um, see, look, some AQ40 gear like this is 75, and it's AQ40 gear, right? Um, let's look for some. Okay, leg plates of the Destroyer. This is AQ20 gear from Mom, right? Wasp, appreciate the follow. So this is AQ20 gear from Moam, and this is eye level 74, and it's a blue. This is a blue item that's almost 10 points of item level higher than MC, tier one. So that's what I'm saying. It's in vanilla. It's not always about what's blue and what's epic, right? Uh, let's see what else. Braces of brutality, 72. This is, uh, this is another piece of gear that drops off of uh, Osirian in AQ20, I believe. There you go, off the last boss in, uh, off the last boss in AQ20. So, now, you have AQ20, which I would say, AQ20 might be like, right, let's, let's, let's thicken it up a little bit, why not? Let's, let's thicken up the canvas. So now you have AQ20 that I would say is is right about <sighs> kind of hard to say let's say let's say it's kind of it's kind of more here right it's it's kind of equal with mc right there's some there's some gear that's better it's kind of that's a, that's a rough one right but we'll say that and that is you know we gotta we gotta get a little bit thicker don't we we gotta get even thicker so this is aq 20 right here Okay, where you have gear kind of in between MC and BWL in that range. So there's your AQ20 gear. AQ40 gear is up here at 81. Now, let's talk about Nax. And this is where things start to get insane. All of a sudden, you have... Look at this. This is a tier 3 chest. Is I level 92. The rest of it is eye level 88. Now, now is when you're starting to get kind of nuts. Now is when it's starting to get kind of insane. You could say, I mean, on average, it, it, most of the pieces are 88. Grand Crusader, this is Nax gear. Girdle of the Mentor, 85. Nax gear, I would say on average, you could say 88 on average, right? Look at this. It's, it's like 85 to 92. You could say it's like, you know, again, we're talking about the tier, right? The tier is 88, most of it. So now you have the Nax gear added into the game. This is in 1.11. The Nax gear is added in. And you have I level 88 gear on average, right? Looking at the tier. Again, not even just on average. Looking at the tier. And this is Nax. So the difference, right, when you're talking about power creep over time, the difference is... Let's look at some... Well, do you guys want to look at some greens? See, greens are not that much higher item level 
then like require see look at this greens requires level 55 item level 60 right even a lot of these blues are item level 60 so these are higher end oh these might be uh these are aq these are aq greens aren't they i think these are the aq greens Zodam, no, I'm not partner yet. What's up, Toef? Yeah, I am back. I am back. Um, see, Belt of Valor, I level 58, right? And usually, I mean, you don't have quite exactly like you don't you don't have exactly like AQ40 greens, the highest level greens, right? So this could be like. Let's just say this, these greens are like in the, the mid fifties, right? And then this is like 60, right? What the heck what was that? And then this right here is like 60, right? So you can see like, again, these are, these are just rough estimates. These two numbers right here. Oh, you guys can't even see my bad dude. I, I just realized that I'm sorry. Look at that. Yeah, that's what that's what I meant, Martin. Whenever I said AQ greens, you knew what I meant. Still with this greens. What's up, Shogun? So, well, Sidious, what I'm what I'm talking about with the, that's exactly what I'm talking about with item level, right? The item level formula is well known. You must consider that an item with ten stamina only will have a higher item level than an item with five and five strength because the formula uses power value of n. Well, what I'm talking about, right? What I'm talking about is these item levels are higher, right? So the amount of itemization points that there are in the item, the amount of stats in the item is going to be more, right? That's that's my point. Like, you're, I mean, that, that's exactly my point, actually. So, Navarian, appreciate the follow. So now what you're seeing is you go from the initial game, and this is this is just what happens in Vanilla WoW over time, this is like 1.3 patch, right? For example, this is a 1.4. 1. 1.4, 1. up to 1.6, okay? Just just for whatever. Daisy, appreciate the follow. 1.6, this gets bumped up to BWL. ZG gets added in 1.7. 1.9, AQ20 gets added. So these are two catch up mechanics for people that are new to the game to get some gear. To help them in MC and BWL and eventually get into an AQ40 guild, right? There's also stuff in AQ20 and in ZG that is good for everybody else who's already at this level. It, it's, I, I love it. We're gonna do a classic cast talking about raid design. We are gonna do that in the future, um, but uh, just just to kind of cut down my explanation and actually start playing the game, I do do that on the stream. I promise, Ramen Noodle. I promise, I do actually play the game sometimes. <laughs> so, anyway, a 1.9 patch, you have this gear added, and then eventually, in the 1.11 patch, you get Nax. So, as you can see, this bottom end is always here, but the top end is just getting stretched out more and more, the entire time. So, that is a very rough, very rough explanation of how Power Creep works in Vanilla WoW throughout the course of uh, all, the, all the patches. Very, very rough explanation. Now, not to go off on a tangent, but, but, I'm gonna keep it short. I was talking about this yesterday. If they add post Nax content, if they add 1.3, 1.4, or 13, 14, whatever, they need to make sure that the item level of the gear that's added later on is not way higher than this. I, I think if they go to like 1.18, which I think they could, I don't I don't know for sure if that's going to happen. It might be a pipe dream, whatever. But let's say they go to 1.18. They add Caverns of Time, Karazhan, uh, Oldham, Grim Batol, Hyjal, Deathwing's Lair is another dragon fight. Let's say they add all that. I think that they have to be very careful that this number does not... I would say don't even have it reach 100. You might have 100 as like the best... What single piece of gear in the game might be item level 100, right? But if you were to go up another 10 item levels with every single patch, it would just be absurd, right? You got you got people with like 140 item level. You, you can't do that, right? I think the power creep is going to be totally absurd. 
But they have to be very careful that the gear is very good. The gear is worth getting, but the, the item level is the same. The amount of itemization points into the stats is, is similar, right? But how the stats are allocated, CB, appreciate the follow, how the stats are actually allocated are, are different. I think that's how they should do it. So anyway, let's actually, let's actually play, frick. Are you kidding me? Let's actually play the game. How about that? Let's actually play the game. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Perodin? Oh, and, and okay, uh, Big Fish, people just need more health. So that's that's one of the big differences between AQ40 gear and, and even Nax gear to an extent. And... Uh, like the PvP gear. Like the PvP gear has a lot more stamina on it. It's more PvP centric. The PvE gear has a lot less stamina and a lot more damage stats. Waysax, appreciate the follow. Yeah, Martinovitz. That's dude, that's a really good point. I really like that. I think the reason for this weird green rare epic mix is caused by Blizzard's old school RPG knowledge and love of gear hierarchy being challenged by uh reality. Of an ever-living, evolving MMORPG. Oh, ass to appreciate the follow, dude. Oh, I'm not a horde criminal. Look, do you not... How hard is this to understand, dude? This is a high elf. This right here is a high elf. I'm infiltrating... I thought I got hit by something. You see that? My character, like, knocked back like I got hit by something. Anyway... Uh, yeah, look, I'm just infiltrating the Alliance, okay? I got green contacts. They think I'm a Blood Elf. They have no idea. They got no clue whatsoever. Wait, did I say infiltrating the Alliance? No, no, infiltrating the Horde. Okay, I misspoke. I misspoke. Infiltrating the Horde, okay? I misspoke. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. No, I didn't mean to say alliance. You guys are freaking tool bags, dude. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable, man. You guys would just look, you guys should just assume that I misspoke. What a freaking joke. Unbelievable. <laughs>